Hey hey internet, Swag here, and welcome to the short overview of the audio player gadgets. If you're already familiar with the legacy sampler and you just want to see what's new, please follow the timestamp. If you want the full rundown, stay tuned and let me show you its features. Let's start with the inputs and the outputs on the circuit board. Play plays the audio. Pause pauses the audio. Stop stops the audio. Next time you play the audio, it will start from the beginning. With me so far? Set volume will set the volume of the audio player to the blue input. One is maximum volume, zero is no volume, so don't forget to work with decimals. Also, don't forget to give an execution, else the audio player does not know to update the number internally. Playback speed changes the speed of your audio. One is normal, 0.5 is half speed, and two is twice as fast. Same as volume, don't forget to give an execution to update its values when changing them. Timestamp will output the amount of seconds you are into playing your sound clip. And maybe most importantly, aside from play, audio specifies which audio you want to play. If you're familiar with the legacy sampler, you might be confused that you can't record on the gadget anymore. This functionality now lives in the sample audio chip. The sample audio chip is wired into the audio input to tell the audio player what audio to play. If you're looking for the recording screen, that is now found by editing your sample audio chip. All you have to do to record audio is press the record button. Wait for the countdown and you can input anything you want, like so. Hey hey internet swag here. When you're done, you can replay it. Hey hey internet swag here. Crop the audio to where you want it. And once saved, you can now play it again with your audio player. Let's get ourselves a button. Wire that up. And we'll be able to hear... Hey hey internet swag here. That we now have our audio saved. Other important settings are found in the configure menu of our gadget. When you configure your gadget, that is the gadget and not the circuit board, you get represented with a series of extra settings. Volume and playback speed allow you to set these to a certain value if you don't need them to be dynamic. Audio channel allows you to set to which channel you want your audio to be, even though it is on voice by default. Never ever select voice as an audio channel for your audio player. You don't want the players of your map having to shout over your audio to be able to understand each other. 3D audio, when checked, makes audio originate from your audio player. If you want a global or directionless audio, like for background music, it is best to turn this feature off. Loop audio will loop your audio once it's done playing, and when interrupt current sounds is enabled, and you play your audio player again before it is done playing, it will interrupt the sound it is making to start over. Synchronization is a circuit function that allows you to play the audio for a single person or for everyone in the room. By default, it is turned on and everyone will be able to hear the audio played. If synced is turned off, you can execute an audio player locally to only play the audio for a local player. This can be useful for a narrated tutorial in the lobby of your map, for example, where a new player can hear it but a veteran player does not need to. And that's about it. If you thought this video was useful, leave a like, subscribe, help out the channel, all that good stuff. But above all else, I hope you use your newfound knowledge wisely, and see you in the next one. Bye!